Hello, this is the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Thank you so much for tuning into this video in which we will introduce logs. It turns out logs and raising to a power are just inverses of each other. We're going to learn how to switch between equations like this in exponential form and equations like this in logarithmic form. So you've seen equations like this before. This is called an exponential equation because the unknown x is part of the power or the exponent. The way that we solve these equations is by using logs. So an example of an exponential equation would be something like 2 to the power of x equals 32. It's exponential because the thing we're trying to find is the power. So what we can do is write this in logarithmic form. So to solve this, x would be equal to log, logs undo raising to the power, and then this number here, which is called the base, goes down below, and the answer goes up top. So x is equal to log base 2 of 32. So what you can see is basically what I've done is I've used logs to rearrange this equation so that x is the subject. So how do we interpret this thing here? Well, log 2 of 32 is saying exactly the same as this equation. Log 2 of 32 says, what power do you raise 2 to in order to get 32? And the answer is 5, because 2 to the power of 5 equals 32. Now, you're probably thinking, well, hang on, we didn't really need logs to solve this equation. You could pretty much come up with the answer x equals 5 yourself. Well, that's true, but unfortunately, not all exponential equations are so easily solved. So let's look at an equation like 4 to the power of x is equal to 100. So this is harder because the answer is actually irrational. There's no whole number power of 4 that equals 100. The power of 4s go 1, 4, 16, 64, 256. So we're going to need logs to solve this. So here, x will just be log of base. This times the base is 4 of the answer. So this number here, and it is just a number, it's an irrational number, but this number is the answer in exact form. To find out what that approximately equals, we can put this in our calculator. The problem is some calculators don't allow you to put in the base. So sometimes they only have a button for log base 10. So if your calculator's like that and you can't put in the answer like this, you just have to write log of the answer divided by log of the base. That's actually the change of base formula we're going to learn about in a subsequent lesson. So putting that on our calculator, we get approximately 3.32 because 4 to the power of 3.32 does equal 100. So this is an equation in exponential form and this is an equation in logarithmic form. So it turns out going the other way is really easy too when you start with a logarithmic equation. So if I have something like log 3 of x equals 4, so let's put that as an exponential equation. So x is just going to be 3 is the base, and 4, this answer here, is the power. So I just get x is equal to 81, and that makes sense because 3 to the power of 4 equals 81. So how would I solve something like this? Well, this is saying, to what power do you raise a to get the square root of a? And that answer is just a half, using our knowledge of index laws. The reason that log base a of root a is a half is because of the exponential form a to the power of a half equals root a. So that's how I got that there. You're just saying, what do I raise this number to to get this one? So there's just a few helpful points we need to know about logs. So firstly, we're going to look heaps at things of this form, log base A of B. We're only going to look at cases where A is positive. So if A is positive, it turns out B is positive as well. You can't put a negative number there. So why is that? Well, let's consider something like log base 2 of negative 1. This is saying, to what power do you raise 2 to get negative 1? Now, that's undefined. You can't actually do that. You can't raise 2 to any power to get a negative number. 
The reason that this number has to be positive is if you take a positive number and raise it to any power, the answer is always positive. So just bear that in mind. Some helpful hints, if I have something like log base A of A, that's always equal to one because this is saying, what do you raise A to to get A? And of course, that's one because A to the power of one is always A. If you have log base A of one, that's always equal to zero because the exponential form of this equation, A to the power of zero, is always one. Remember, we're saying A has to be a positive number, so A can't be zero. So just keep these in mind. They will come in handy later on. All right, thank you so much for tuning into this video. This has been the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Have a great day.